My board is in rough shape, like the roughest. It's dry, it's dirty. All right, Aaron's got the kit. Oh man, so this is the waxing kit here? Yeah, this is the off-season kit. The board is, yeah, definitely dry. I've been, haven't waxed it in maybe five days of riding, so yeah, this like spring conditions, it's just sucked all the moisture out. This one little guy right here that Aaron said he's gonna fix. If you guys are ever at the mountain and you need that quick tune, uh, there's a lot of like mobile uh, waxing businesses out there. So Aaron's is Downslope Mobile. So check them out if you're in New Mexico. Yeah, Albuquerque, yeah. Taos, Santa Fe. So what's the generator for? The uh, generator's to power the iron. Good to run. She's good to go. So Aaron's just cleaning up the edge a little bit, like on my top sheet. All those little little guys giving me problems. And, and if you leave them up like that, then it's gonna it, it gives them the possibility of getting worse. If you ever hit something and catch that, it's gonna come up a lot more. Yeah. So the sanding block just kind of buffs out the around the edges there. Yeah, exactly. So how's the riding been up at Mount Hood so far? Like, has it met your expectations? Yeah, totally exceeded it. I can't believe how much is open. I wasn't expecting all that to be open. Yeah. Yeah, so met Aaron out here the first day and his buddy Bo as well. And was also telling me tons about Taos Mountain out in New Mexico. So I think uh, a New Mexico trip is gonna have to be planned sometime next season. Okay, so what's the... Uh, I like to just use um, alcohol, you know, it's cheaper than base cleaner. Sweet. Base, you can use base cleaner too, and that works the same. So my base is probably like as dirty as it's ever been. Up on the mountain there's lots of like just rocks, dirt, dust. So giving it a good clean before waxing is, is definitely a priority. Oh damn, we're bringing up the blowtorch. Yeah, the torch is the best way lighter you know we're it's a little windy out right now so torch is the best way to go if you if you want to really melt the heat there you go it's on so Aaron's gonna get some black p-tex into this little little shot right there This, this scraper right here, yeah. this is a hidden secret for oh. wood scraper. This thing will mess up a base, but if you go really light over some p tex with this, it makes it so much easier to scrape than using such a dual scraper, but this thing is really, really sharp for sure. So what is this doing, Aaron? Just uh, burning the edges here. A burr is like when you get a little nick in your edge from Maybe putting it in the truck too hard or hitting something on the mountain. Yeah. And what it does is it just creates like a little lift in the in the edge that'll throw it off from being smooth. The point of an edge is you want to have no no surface tension with it. You know, it's got to be a clean glide when you're cutting through the through the snow. You know, so burrs will just throw it off. So Aaron, he cleaned up all the little burrs off of my edge. He's not sharpening them. He's just kind of cleaning them up. Kevin's edges are already pretty sharp, you know, you can always check your edge and if yeah. it's taking off some, off some of your like fingernail material, then it's it's sharp enough. Oh, uh, the fingernail test, yeah. This is a gummy stone, so it's just a detune for the tip and tail. So I can take this and make the tip and tail a little bit softer because you don't really want to have a sharp tip and tail. And I'll do this all the way down to like the contact point, which is where the snow, the the board is always touching the snow right there. Did you put some alcohol on that as well? I did, I put a little bit of alcohol. What it is, is it just eliminates friction when you're when you're rubbing this against a stone, so it helps it work a little bit better. Okay. You know? so yeah, I like to, you could use water. Alcohol is what I got, so. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, yeah. yeah if it works. But it does, I mean, it's cleaning it up really well. If you've got rust on your edges, this is the move. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I have any rust on my edges, but it's really common, especially on the tip and tail, to get some rust. Or if you just got your board kind of on its side, it can just sit in some water, maybe from the day of riding, and that's how your edges rust. So if you can clean those up, it just makes your board last that much longer. Yeah, that works so smoothly. Yeah, this thing works really well. 
Aaron just completely fixed that little chunk that was out of my base. The p tex job looks super good. Yeah, so what would happen if you don't clean your base and just wax? Uh, you know, then you're just mixing your base with all kinds of dirt. Lots of dirt and, you know, the snow is, isn't like, isn't clean, you know. Snow comes from wherever it comes from and it's, <laughs> and it's dirty, you know. Yeah. So. Especially you know, up here, it's pretty yeah. dirty at the moment. Yeah, so you, you gotta clean clean your base off, otherwise you're just mixing your wax with dirt. And then it's gonna be like an uneven space surface, you know. The, the whole reason why you wax, do a base grind, or tune your snowboard or anything is to have it flat. It's gotta be flat so you can ride it smoothly, you know. Free brush real quick. Yeah, so Aaron's giving it a good brush, and the brush really helps to take out any existing wax out of the base as well did i get that right takes it yeah, yeah dude that's the kind of brush you want too this one the surface area but also with this little strap so you can really get some like pressure. pressure into the base yeah you want to kind of like stick to going one way right here i try and stick to going much one way which is tip to tail brush in one direction yeah Oh, you clean off the iron as well. Yeah, the wax iron's a bit dirty, so just a little bit of alcohol in there, around here. Dude, all these little secrets. It's hot. But it's special. Draft by your wax. This is always what I've been curious about, is like different people's techniques for pushing the wax around. So do you do you do one direction kind of tip to tail kind of thing? I like to do that, you know. Uh, sometimes, like when the condition isn't the best, you know, you'll uh, you'll and you'll end up having to do it real fast, you know. Or if you're working through a lot of boards, going tip to tail is kind of the best thing. And like I'll always come back. Like if you see a spot that you didn't really quite fill it in, I'll just come back real quick and then go back over. But you always want to kind of keep the wax iron moving and then kind of leaving a little bit of a trail behind you. Definitely always make sure you're trying to stick tip to tail. And I always like to wax the tip and the tails because like so many people are doing butters nowadays where your tips and your tails are actually in the snow. So it's better to go ahead and wax them up. If anyone's out riding Mount Hood in May, come find Aaron's truck. Yeah, come get a wax. wax you, know, you can just do a, a buff wax as well if you're trying to get it done quickly. Or we can bust out the generator and sit here and do a hot wax and have a good time. <laughs> yeah. This is a special graphite wax really made for these conditions out here for the spring at Mount Hood. That's why it looks really different. Yeah. Where I come from in New Mexico, the snow is a lot drier, you know. Pretty cold all the time. It's like the last few weeks of the season we're actually using a slush wax but up here it seems like it's going to be slushy for a while so different wax for different temperatures uh, scrape it buff it up yeah so aaron's got the wax on we're just gonna let this cool off for maybe like 15 minutes until it's like really cool to the touch and he's gonna scrape it and buff it do you sharpen your scraper 100 percent. oh yes yeah. that's my best friend right there scraper. oh this is this this is the sharpener yeah if you don't have this, then you're kind of messing up. Oh, yeah. You gotta have a sharp scraper, it makes it so much easier. And all it is is pretty much just a Panzer file. Oh, there's a file in there. It, yep. You can pick these up at anywhere, you know. This thing is nice because it has the guide, but oh, okay. you could just run it just like this and try and keep it flat. Other thing that works too is just really heavy grit sandpaper. Okay. You know, just take a sandpaper and throw it down. And you can just sand your file too. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You really don't want to leave anything on your base when you scrape it. So you want to scrape like all the wax off. All the wax off. Yeah. Anything that you that you just did with the iron is like what penetrated the base. You know, it soaks in the, the, the wax. It just all soaks in there. Yeah, because you can tell it. Like it looks like yeah. um, more black. Yeah. No it's doubt. More of that rich color before it just looked dry. Some people I notice like scrape they're trying to use like the whole scraper but I use just like a very little bit of it you know the whole thing is sharp but I'm using just like corners of it 
like from here to here I'll switch it over and use this or use this section of it or when you go back you know you could always just flip over your scraper and start using the other side as well so okay so you get some pressure and you just use like yep, one like right here like on the tips and tails especially it can be hard because it curves down I'll just take this little section of it and wipe it down like that you know on the tips and tails that makes it a lot easier hey buddy go get it oh. And Aaron, is most wax biodegradable or is I, it? That's what I thought. I thought most wax should be biodegradable. They used to have a wax with fluorocarbons in it that would uh, be fast for the race gears, you know, but they, they've outbanned that because it's really not good for the environment. Okay, so a lot of you know. the ingredients have been banned in waxes? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, our snow does lead to the runoff, you know, and yeah. the runoff leads to our drinking water, so have all that bad stuff in the, in the snow. This brush here, this is a, a steel brush and it's a really aggressive brush so I don't really want to go back and forth with this thing because it could really mess up a base as well so this is just kind of getting all the little stuff that the scraper kind of doesn't want to pick up and it, it'll help it get off right away you know. So this is just taking off any any little remnants? Yeah, any little remnants that kind of doesn't come with the scraper. This is a bronze brush. This one's a, you know, it's it's a little softer than the steel brush and it's got the nylon around it. So I'll go a little bit more aggressive with this one. Okay. This brush is just a horsehair brush. So it's actually a bit softer, you know, than all of those ones so far. You can use a nylon too, but I, I normally, with this one, I kind of just skip the nylon. I'll go here and then to a soft nylon. It's really, really soft, so kind of just take this, dust everything off this one. Dude, I just noticed the apron too. You know, you gotta stay clean. I've ruined sweaters, my shoes, look at my shoes. So. Are those waxing shoes as yeah, well? Yeah. yeah. It gets messy. Alright, yeah, you go for it. I do the honors. Put it down right here. Slight little tilt, you know. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, it looks so clean, shiny. Like tomorrow on the mountain, I'm just going to be riding like so much smoother and faster. Yeah, Aaron, thank you, man. Yeah. For everyone in New Mexico, if you're skiing there, snowboarding, I'll put all of Aaron's info right here. Yeah. And this is the real deal. Check him out. Give me a shout. You know, we've got the whole setup in New Mexico. And yeah. Like I said, we're going to get the van going next year. So check us out. We'll be everywhere. Dude, thank you. And hopefully get to ride with you in New Mexico yeah. this winter. Yeah, you got to come. New Taos, Angel Fire. Come on, if you're from New Mexico, let's get Snowboard Pro Camp out there. Remember? Yes. <laughs> so big shout out to Aaron. Also, if you're from New Mexico, uh, definitely check out his business. And I'm definitely gonna make a trip out to New Mexico, like love Albuquerque. You're gonna have to check out the mountains. Sweet. Thanks for watching, guys. Have fun with the snowboarding. Catch you in the next video. Sweet. Thank you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.